In fact, 29 Missouri children died from abuse last year. And according to reports, another 51,000 live in fear. This month, communities are taking a stand, hoping to save young lives. Beth Vaughn shows us how pinwheels could lead to better protection. What was once a toy for these third grade students is now a shimmering symbol of hope. They represent the children. 400 pinwheels on display at 63rd and Brookside in honor of National Child Abuse Prevention Month. I hope it's a reminder to let us know that our children are first and they are the most important thing. At least that's what this seasoned educator strives for at school. In my 21 years, I'm sure it has to be over 100 cases. According to the Child Protection Center, those cases are on the rise. 24% year over year increase in the uh, incidence of reported abuse. So I, it's not acceptable for our communities to have children suffer that way. Sister Berta agrees. We spoke with her today at Operation Breakthrough, where she shared with us a staggering statistic about abuse deaths. A good 50 to 60 percent are boys under one killed by a guy that wasn't their dad. She says the solution starts at home. If your child's really irritating you, you need to have a plan. What are you going to do with them? If your baby won't stop crying, what's your plan? Protecting a basic need of all children, safety. The pinwheels for protection are on sale at a number of Brookside businesses. The money raised goes toward the services of the Child Protection Center. In the newsroom, Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.